Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today I'm working on some static aircraft for uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. thought I'd share uh, a process to fix something. I'm working on a KC-135 and I had to make a decision. Was it faster for me to find an existing free model out there somewhere and make some edits to it? Uh, or was it faster to create a whole new aircraft? For this particular one, I chose to find a model. And so I found a model. It was a 3D printed uh, file, 3D print file, a step file, an STL file. Now, I'm not talking about um topology or anything like that um i'm trying to show you basically how to orient a model correctly that doesn't come in in the right orientation all right so here we have we have the front part of the fuselage and if i uh, let's see, tilde T is top, it's not really the top of the airplane, but it's the top view, okay? The nose is pointing toward, is going in the Z direction, okay? But I want to show you some, a couple of axes that are incorrect. Um, even though this is the Y axis, normally it would be the Z axis, okay? but it illustrates the same thing okay the green line is supposed to be the center line of the aircraft however it's off center okay the aircraft itself is is turned okay it should run up through the middle of the uh, front landing gear through the center of the windshield and through the top center part of the top of the fuselage right okay but it doesn't it's skewed the other, um, the other orientation that's incorrect, uh, I need to, let's see, that's left. Let's go front, okay, is th how it sets on the table, okay? It's crooked. If we notice down here, this yellow line needs to be parallel with this white line and it's not it's higher on this side than it is this side so that means that the model is skewed uh, in the uh, I believe that is the it's turned on the y-axis as well okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to orient this so it is real world and the center line goes right down the center line all right it may be an involved process but i'll try to make it as easy as possible to understand all right so first of all brought this in and i'm going to go x-ray and i'm going to go tab into edit mode and i'm going to turn faces on so only only the uh face centroid has the black dot all right and i'm going to come down here at the bottom and like i said this is a little bit of trial and error but what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to only select the faces that are on the bottom side or correspond to that bulkhead all right so i'm just going to slowly do this to see if i can get these selected I may not get them all selected right off the bat, but we'll get there. Okay, we'll do some we'll do some initial cleanup after this to make sure that we only have what we want. All right. Okay, so uh, I got some more over here that needs to be selected. Uh, let's see if this selects anything. I'm not touching these up here because these are on the side of the fuselage. Okay, let's see what I have selected here. All right, so I'm going to turn off Ghost. I'm going to swing around here. Okay, so I don't have them all selected, so let's 
do some selecting this way as well. Okay. We want to get all of these selected as well as we can. All right. And come over here. I, I know I'm going to be missing some. I just know because there's probably some sliver polygons. But I want to go around here and make sure I don't have anything selected on the sides. Which I don't. Which is good. So we'll put this back like that. Okay. And I want to turn all of this into one face. So I'm going to right select dissolve faces. Okay. So there's still a couple slivers left that we'll deal with here in a second. So I'm going to go back to ghost mode. And I notice that these two blacks aren't selected. And there might be another one somewhere. Oh yeah. It's right here. That one's not selected. All right, now let's get out of Ghost and let's try our Dissolve again. And now we only have one face, which is good. All right, now this face that we just created, or yeah, this new face that we just created. I'm trying to figure out how my mouse is going here. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's how it's oriented. All right, <laughs> sorry if I'm making you dizzy. All right, so this face right here in real life, usually we use the long axis of a, of a fuselage along the X and then the, the wingspan is along the Y, okay? So this axis, I mean this plane should be perpendicular to the X axis because it's a bulkhead, so it goes along the Z axis, right? Okay, so remember how it was sitting on the so-called printer table and was crooked? All right, so that's what we're trying to solve now. All right, so with this, with all this, this new face selected, I'm going to shift S, move my cursor to the selected. Okay, then I am going to go to view. I'm going to go align the view how we're looking, I'm going to align it with that selected polygon. So it's straight onto the polygon. The world will get uh, skewed, but the polygon will be oriented. Um, our view will be oriented to that, that face. So align view, align view active, which is the active face top. So we're looking straight down on the bulkhead. Okay. The world origin uh world grid is is diagonal right now okay but this one is straight east and west north and south okay now let's get out of edit mode and let's do a shift a and add a plane okay we have the plane it's sitting there but we we want the plane to also be at, uh, oriented to our view. So we're going to come down here to add plane and we're going to change align world to align view. Okay. You didn't see much happen, but there was some subtleties. Okay. And then I'm going to scale this plane. So it's just big. Okay. Now we're going to hit one on the numpad to go back to normal view. Okay, normal orientation. All right, now notice that this orange line is our new plane that we just added. And notice that it is flush with our bulkhead of our aircraft. All right, so they're both the same. Okay, so I'm going to select the fuselage and then I'm going to shift select the plane. And I'm going to control P and I'm going to parent our fuselage to our plane. So if I select the plane and move it, the fuselage goes along with it, with its orientation. Okay. Now we're going to reset our origin of our plane. Remember that's our parent. We're going to reorient 
the origin of our plane with the origin of our real world okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to shift S and we're going to change our 3D cursor back to the world. I might have to do it twice. Okay, so there's our world right there. Okay, so with the plane selected, I am going to Alt R reset and then Alt G to move that to the origin. Okay, so even though it's upside down now it's pointing down instead of pointing up that's no big deal we can rotate this on the x 180 degrees get that standing up okay just like that now if i uh do a tilde f now we need to see that our fuselage that's, uh, did I do a uh, front view? I want right view. Tilde R. Uh, tilde L. Tilde front. Okay. Our, our model of our front of our airplane is now sitting straight up and down on the, on the Z axis. Okay. So part of it is almost ready to go. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to do a tilde T for the top, and then I'm just going to drag so I know that this is the front, this is the back, this is left, this is right. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to rotate the fuselage on the Z, minus 90, no, 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 no want to rotate Z 90 degrees because I always like my the front of my airplanes facing the negative X direction that's just the way that my brain likes it okay so now it's oriented kind of in the right direction we know it's flat on the ground now that bulkhead is now so I know that airplane is pointing straight up okay now I want to rotate this part this fuselage along this x-axis so it's so the noise nose is pointing to the left all right so I'm going to rotate y I think it's negative negative 90 okay so now our airplane is kind of oriented correctly okay so we have part of this problem solved okay now we're gonna do some more rotating here pretty soon but this gives my brain the orientation that I'm working on all right now select the fuselage and you're gonna alt P and you're gonna clear the parent but you're gonna keep the transformation okay so now you can turn off that plane all right all right, so now our airplane is oriented correctly up and down on the Z and oriented correctly along the X, okay? But it's still turned, it's still rotated on the X axis a little bit uh, shy of center. So we need to correct that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tab into edit mode and with this face, I'm just going to delete it because I'm not going to need that interior face anyway. So we'll delete that face. So now we can see inside the shell of the of the aircraft. Now to get a new orientation, we need to get this to rotate a little bit clockwise according to this view. So the center line of the airplane lines up with the X axis. Okay, so I... How I can do that is I can zoom in and find an, an edge, like this edge right here is the center line of the fuselage. And down here at the bottom there's a corresponding one right here. So I shift selected both of those, okay, zoom out here. Now I'm going to uh, shift D, copy those, hit escape so I don't move them, P 
to make a new selection. So nodes 001 are those two little line segments. Okay, so let's get out of edit mode and let's turn off the nose so we can see those line segments. And then we're going to choose our line segments, go into edit mode, turn on vertice. We're going to take this vertice, shift this vertice, F to close those, to connect those. And the same with these two here, F. And then I'm going to edge select all and then F to fill that in so it's a face. Okay, so this is the face orientation of the center line of the aircraft and you notice that it's off of the x-axis okay so now what I want to do is I want to with this uh, I'm going to join this new face with our nose all right so I'm going to get out of edit mode I'm going to turn our nose back on I'm going to hold down I'm going to click nose zero zero one control click nose and I'm going to control J to join those together temporarily okay now we'll go into edit mode and notice that that face is still selected because that was the last uh, that face was selected in the last op um, operation now I want to take my 3d cursor and move it to this face so I'm going to shift s cursor to select it so now that 3d cursor is right along that face okay now just like that first uh, face that first rotation orientation thing that we did at the beginning of the video we're going to repeat it except we have a new orientation here so we're going to go to we're going to set our view to be at the top view of this face so I'm going to go view align view active top okay doesn't look like it but it is all right then I'm going to tab out of edit mode and we are going to shift a and add a new mesh plane and we're going to change that new plane to view okay and we're going to scale that one whoops Sorry about that. And then again, we're going to take our fuselage, shift, select our plane, control P, and parent. So now if I move this one, it moves our fuselage, right? So if I come over here, notice that this plane is the same as the center line of our aircraft, right? Now, all we have to do is reset this to the world. All right. So I'm going to hit one on the keypad to go back to the uh, world view here. And I'm going to take this 3D cursor, shift S, cursor to world. I'll probably have to do it twice, which is all right. All right. So now that 3D cursor is at the world origin. Okay. Now. Remember the Alt R, the reset and the and the move to the origin. Okay, so we're gonna Alt R. Yeah, don't worry about it laying down. We can fix that part. The hard part's already been taken care of. And then Alt G to move it to the 3D cursor, and then tab out. Okay. Now before we shut anything down. We are oriented correctly in the Z. This bulkhead is lined up with the Z axis. And the center line is lined up with the, this is, this right here is the center line of the aircraft. So it is also lined up with the X axis. All we need to do is rotate this on the X. So R, X, is it the positive or negative? No, whoops, wrong one. One wrong one. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. There we go. That's when I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was in edit mode. I didn't want to be in the edit mode. So we're going to rotate X 90 degrees and that turns our whole fuselage over. Okay. 
And now we can unassociate these two. So we're going to do an Alt P. We're going to clear the parent and keep the transformations. And then you can turn this plane off. And then you can select the fuselage. You can go to object and you can apply all transformations. And now if I go if I go tilde front, we got our front view. If I go tilde left, we got the front view. Okay. And there is our Z axis going right through the center right through the nose between the windows all the way up through the center line of that antenna so we have just now oriented this weird looking input model so it is now oriented correctly now I can go in and do all of my edits clean it up I can get rid of half uh, matter of fact, I'll kind of show you that. So we'll select that, go into edit mode, go till the top. There's the top, right? And we want to get rid of half of our airplane so we can mirror it instead. So, uh, whoops, uh, till the T and turn ghost mode on and kind of move down here. There's our, there's our center right there. So you can select all these going on down the line just like that. Okay. Select all these just like that. Go right down that center line. Get the stuff that's close to the center line first. Okay. Just like this. Just stay above that X axis. All right, just like that. Oh, got got some close down here too. We don't need these. As long as you're above above the x-axis, there you're fine. Okay. These aren't the these aren't the best models in the world, but it'll work. Okay, but you guys will get the picture. But you guys can get rid of half of that aircraft and then mirror it just like that everything going right down the middle now there's some stuff here I have to get a closer look at to get rid of all right so we'll go till the T zoom out turn off ghost mode and you can hit delete delete vertices and have half of your airplane just like that now uh, I'm gonna mirror it but it's not gonna be perfect there are some uh, really minute vertices that I need to get rid of before I start really doing this but with this uh, applied like that go to modifiers go to mirror and mirror in the Y axis instead of the X okay and like I said there's some there's some things that I haven't fixed yet you know it's skewed a little bit there's some things that haven't been applied but I work on half of the airplane and then mirror it so it's symmetrical on both sides okay so I know this is long and kind of drawn out but if you bring in a model and you have it oriented incorrectly these are one step this is one way to get it oriented correct so i hope this helps and if you haven't please subscribe if you feel inclined to support me on this channel buymeacoffee.com slash my physical world and i will see you guys on the next video see you later